Okay, so if I take the word freebie here, it should send me the link to it almost instantaneously. There's the link. Okay, now we're gonna test the buttons. The keyword here was help. And boom, I got the buttons. If I click on the free guide, it's gonna take me to the website of the free Notion guide. And then the third one was results. And this is going to activate these quick replies and I can just choose whichever I want and it's gonna take me down that route and give me the auto reply. All right, welcome guys. In this video, we're gonna build the go high level automation, which will trigger when people message you on Instagram a specific keyword and it's gonna send them automatically a lead magnet, a Calendly booking link or whatever kind of DM message that you want. So without further ado, let's get into building this stuff out. You just want to go into your go high level automation step, create a new workflow. And we're going to start with a simple one where if people message you a specific keyword, you just immediately send them a link or whatever automated message. So we're going to call this DM keyword simple. And before you start building it, you just want to make sure that your Instagram account is connected to your go high level. So you want to go to settings, uh, integrations here, and you know, this should be here connected. If you go to manage pages, uh, it should have this little green checkbox to make sure that the automations will work. And we're just going to go back and continue building it. Okay, so the trigger is going to be very simple. It's going to be a customer replied trigger. So when somebody messages you, this is gonna trigger. Now you also wanna set up that this will only trigger on Instagram. So you wanna go to reply channel, Instagram, to make sure that if you have other channels like WhatsApp or email, this is not gonna trigger. And also here is where you can set up the keywords. Now you have two options, contains phrase, or exact match phrase. Now, what happens if you use the contains phrase and let's say your keyword is start, I don't recommend doing this because if somebody would message you, let's say, uh, I'm just gonna write it here, hey, can I start the program? Or can we start the call? Since the message contains start, it's gonna trigger. So I don't recommend using this contains phrase. I always recommend the exact match phrase and here you just want to write all variations with the caps, no caps, all caps, and that's going to be our keyword. And here I'm just going to write keyword is start. And we're going to save the trigger. And then it's very, very simple. You just want to search for the Instagram DM, uh, not the interactive messenger yet. This is going to be a very simple Instagram DM automation. And here you can just do like, here you go. And if you want to send the link in a separate message you can just do instagram dm and i have my calendar link here for the ai setter and if you want this is not really needed but you can put a wait step in between them so maybe like wait three seconds and the way you can do that is if you just do like 0 0.05 minutes so this is going to be exactly three seconds and you just want to save publish and now we're going to test it out on my phone and in fact let me just share my screen and I'm gonna show you exactly how this works okay so I'm just gonna write here start and it should activate our little automation that we just built and we're gonna wait a few seconds here you go wait three seconds here and then boom there's the link and yeah by the way, guys, I wanted to show you one more thing. So for my clients, what we actually do is after we send the freebie in the DMs, what I do is add a 30 minute wait step and then I add an AI on tag on this person. And what will happen is we use an AI appointment setter. So basically 30 minutes after they opted in for the freebie, we ask a question like, hey, hope you could take a look at the guy. Is it cool if I ask you a few more questions? And since we added the AI on tag, once people reply here, the AI appointment setter is going to start having a conversation with them and try to book them in for a call. So if you're actually interested in not only automating the freebie, but you want to automate the entire conversation with the lead, qualify them, follow up if they go and basically use an AI chat agent to book them in for a call. 
then watch my other videos because this is what I do or just message me on Instagram and we can have a combo about it. Back to the video. So we're gonna build now a completely new workflow, start from scratch and now we're gonna introduce buttons which is gonna be really useful for you as well. So we're gonna call this DM keyword and we're gonna call it button. Okay, so the trigger is gonna be exactly the same. Customer replied, um, add filter, reply channel is Instagram and the keyword is gonna be exact match, let's say button, let's keep it simple. I'm gonna add also the other variations. Uh, yeah, so that's the trigger. And then our next step here is going to be again search for Instagram and here we're gonna use the Instagram interactive messenger. So here you wanna change this from reply to comment via DM to just simply reply DM. And here you're gonna write what is written on the button itself. So like, would you like to book a call or um, a free guide? And then we're gonna add two different buttons. We're gonna hit, hit buttons here. The first button is gonna be book a call and I'm gonna put a phone emoji on this and then here you want to choose open website and here you want to put the link to your uh, calendly or whatever booking link and then we're gonna add another button which is gonna be get the guide and we can put another emoji here maybe whatever a cheese doesn't really matter open website and here you can just pick your um link for that you know what i'm just gonna put instagram.com like i don't really care here now very important guys you want to make sure that this wait step is adjusted so here basically let me just simply put a really high number here okay put a really really high number here and save action and i will tell you why this is important this is important because if you keep this at one minute or 120 minutes which is two hours whatever if people opt in for your uh, lead magnet or on Instagram, they get these buttons. I'm going to show you in a sec on my phone how that looks like. And if they don't press the button immediately, then whatever number is on this uh, default wait step, default timeout step, after that number of minutes, basically the person leaves this workflow. And even if they press the button after, nothing is going to happen. Okay, so basically just make sure that here's a really, really high number and that's gonna save you from all sorts of troubles. And here basically we can just publish this because we don't really need to add any more steps here because when they press the button, they will be taken to the corresponding um, website and it's very simple. So I'm gonna share my screen back up and I'm gonna show you how this works in action. So the keyword was um, the keyword was button and then we're going to wait for the automation to go through. Would you like to book a call or get the guide? Okay. If I go and book a call, it's going to take me to the Calendly link. Perfect. And if I go on the other one, get the guide, it should take me to Instagram.com. I just put it randomly there. Uh, yeah, that's it. So here's how you do a button and we're going to have a third one which is the quick reply. This can also be really, really cool. So we're gonna do another third automation, create workflow, start from scratch. And okay, let's name it DM keyword quick replies. All right, so the trigger is gonna be the same, customer replied, Instagram, Replay channel, IG, and contains phrase or exact match phrase, um, quick reply. Okay, and here you're gonna do another Instagram interactive messenger step. And this time we're gonna choose the quick reply. So first I'm gonna write a text here, like uh, choose which one describes you best. And then I can add the quick replies here. Quick reply one is gonna be um, lose weight. And I'm gonna just write the same exact thing here. Then the second one is gain muscle. And then the third one is gonna be, let's say, 
increase uh, or like grow my schlong. Okay, perfect. And here again, just add a really, really high number. Uh, doesn't really matter what it is. And now you have an extra step to do because now you want to make sure that for each branch, you add an extra step, which can be an Instagram DM. I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm just going to send them an Instagram DM here. Let's say, um, watch this video about weight loss. Watch this video about weight loss. And I'm just going to put here one more Instagram DM step, which is going to be, let's say the link. I'm just going to write YouTube weight loss link. Okay. And then, I mean, if you want to keep it just simpler and by the way, guys, for this step, I really recommend you to name all of your steps because it can get messy. Um, if you want to just do it quickly, just do copy, copy all actions from here. And then we're just going to do this. Watch this video about muscle gain and make sure that you add it here because this is the important part. And this is going to be the YouTube muscle gain link. And then here I'm just going to write, just give up. Okay. Boom. We're going to save it, publish, save, and we're going to go back on the phone and test out this third one as well. So the keyword here was quick reply. And as you can see, it will give me these quick replies down here uh, in a sec. Okay, choose which one describes you best. Lose weight, gain muscle, grow my schlong. And it should trigger the auto DM. Boom, just give up. Okay. If you are wondering what we do is build AI appointment setters. So what we do with one of these free lead magnet automations is when we send the link to the freebie, we would also turn on the AI appointment setter, send an automatic, you know, opener message. And when people reply, we would start a conversation with the AI setter. So if you're interested in that stuff, watch my other videos as well. And if you are also interested in comment automations, I'm going to link here the video on how to build a comment automation. So yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video.